Breaking forth greetings, word of life, and welcome to today's uh, morning altar of prayer, Tuesday of fire. <laughs> so uh, yesterday we started uh, the week of fire, and we say that we are intending to find our altars to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So what are the benefits of an altar of fire? When your altar is on fire, number one, all the hidden snakes will be forced to come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Acts 28 uh, verse 3. And something else that can happen, another benefit of altar of fire is this. The fires of defilement cannot uh, find room in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ecclesiastes 10 1. The prophets of Baal will be forced to bow down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 1 Kings 18 39 to 40. Another benefit is this, your heart will burn of love of God. Amen. John 2, 17. You'll become a flame of fire, impossible to be handled by the devil. <laughs> Amazing. Hebrews 1, 7. You can imagine that. Impossible to be handled by the enemy. So I want us to go before the Lord and we pray in the name of Jesus Christ uh, that from henceforth our altars will catch fire and burn forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So what to do to keep the fire burning? It is our responsibility to keep our altars on fire every single day. Leviticus 6.13. You can intend to read that. And then ask God to help you to increase the fire of your love for him, for God, and the things of God. Fellowship with fire-burning believers in your church, wherever you are, word of life, whatever church that you are going, fellowship with other believers so that your fire can continue burning. That is the sum of the secrets of how you can keep your fire burning. So I want us to go before the Lord and we pray for God to help us for our altars to catch fire today and right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For the altar to catch fire, to consume all the dead things in our mind, in our souls, to die today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And also to be connect, disconnected from fire quenchers, those people who are sucking your energy, disconnect from you and also God to help you to be connected with other believers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us go before the Lord and we pray. Father, Lord Almighty, we are praying, O oh God, it's our second day, of oh Father, of week of fire. We are praying, Lord Almighty, Father, let the altar, of oh Father, Lord Almighty, catch fire right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are praying, Lord Almighty, Father, that the, our altars will catch fire to consume all the dead things of oh Father, Lord Almighty, defiling our mind, defiling our souls, defiling our, 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 our hearts, of oh Father. Lord Almighty, we are praying, O oh God, Almighty Father, for the altar to catch fire, O oh God, to consume Consume, O oh Father, everything that is dead, anything that is smelling death in our mind, O oh God. We are praying, Lord Almighty Father, the altar will catch fire today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Lord Almighty Father, that the altar will catch fire, Lord, and help us, O oh Father, to disconnect, O oh Father, Lord Almighty, from all the things, O oh Father, from all the people, O oh God, who are trying to put our fire down, O oh God. Disconnect us today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord Almighty, we are praying, help us, O oh Father, help us, O oh God, connect us. Us, oh Father Lord Almighty with people who are going to help us oh God to keep our fire burning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ from Lord Almighty for anything that is disconnecting us oh Father from you Father Lord Almighty we are praying that you may disconnect us today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray Lord Almighty Father that you may desire oh God to love what you love oh Father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we have prayed amen 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 well, I'd like to uh, welcome uh, the pastor this uh, uh, morning for you to be blessed by the word of today. Be blessed. Amen. Breaking forth greetings, word of life, and welcome to day two of our morning altar of prayer, captioned Eben Isa. Let us pray to God our help. Father, we cry to you today and we appreciate you because you are our help. The very help in time of trouble. Father, I know that somebody listening to us this very morning will be visited by your help. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we have prayed. Amen. Yesterday we saw some danger of helplessness. We saw that number one, when you lack help from God, you will end up in confusion, shame, and reproach. Isaiah 50 verse 7. We saw also without even help, there is no hope, there is no future, there is no happiness. You are miserable. Psalm 146 verse 5. We saw number three that hopeless helplessness carries dramatic consequences in life, in destiny. We saw number four that without divine help, life becomes bitter. Life lacks sweetness. Life becomes full of bitterness. Affliction becomes the honor of the day. We saw in conclusion yesterday that uh, true and effective help comes from above, not from beneath, from the throne of God, not from the earth. Today let us proceed and uh, I want to talk about what can divine help do in life. Let us read uh, some scriptures, but first of all, divine help breaks delay and enhances progress. In Exodus chapter number 2 verse 16 to 18, we find the story of the daughters of Jethro, who was the priest of Midian. The Bible says that the priest of Midian had seven daughters. And those daughters, they came to draw water from the well. Because you know, in, J in Israel, drawing water was not for men, it was for women most of the time. And as they were filling the water, they were, I mean, for the father's flock, some shepherd, they came, they drove them away. But the good thing is that Moses stood up and helped them. You will never lack help in your life. Say many of you believe. Moses stood up. Now, now listen to me. Moses did not know those daughters of Jethro. He did not know them. It means that those who will help you in life are not necessarily those people who know you. All, uh, you know, uh, my people will help me. The people from my country will help me. The people from my tribe will help me. Because I come from this tribe, those people, because they are of my tribe, they will help me. I will, I, I, I will tell you for free. You, 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 you will be sure that the people who know you are the people who will never help you. I am enjoying divine help in this country. I'm telling you. And the help I'm enjoying is from the people of this country. So I don't need to go, I say, but you know, you know, because I am from uh, the country which you know, uh, my help will come from my people. No. In Exodus 2, 18, when those doctors of Jethro came back to their father, the father was like, how is it that you came so soon today? Ah, this text is teaching us something powerful about divine help. It is teaching us something incredible i did not know it until i read this text so you see if those girls those daughters of jethro did not have moses as their helper they could have been delayed if they did not have moses as their helper they could have been defeated because 
those shepherds who came to push them away, they were stronger than them. But God sent to them a helper to stand, to fight their battles. God will send you helpers who will fight your battles. So Moses fought their battle. He never knew them. They never knew him. But because they needed help at that moment, and watch, watch. Because they were helped by Moses, they came back home sooner than they used to come back home. To the point that the father asked, how is it that you came soon? Today. The help they received accelerated result. So you see, when you are divinely helped, there is acceleration. And there was enhancement of their progress. I pray today. What used to take you long time before it will work? You will do it with the speed of the light in the name of Jesus. By reason of divine help. You see, when God sends you helper, things go quicker than before. You will never suffer shame, I mean delay again in your life. God will send you now. Watch this. Watch this. I testify it to the glory of God. I can tell you that um, in my ministry, God is giving me supernatural order of speed. The things I used to do in one week or one month. Can I tell you this? I'm doing it in one day. One day. I say one day. Because of help from above. I pray today for somebody delay will be broken in your life i'm just praying that god will send you helpers god will send you helpers who will help you like those uh, uh Jethro's daughters to speed up things in your life to speed up to speed up to accelerate things for you if you believe say amen i believe number two Divine help breaks stagnation and accelerates progress. Divine help moves forward unstoppably. Paul was an unstoppable apostle. Paul was an ever advancing, ever progressing man of God. One of the, the, the reasons why Paul was unstoppable, it was because of the help from God. Acts 26, 22. Paul says, having therefore obtained help of God, I continue unto this day witnessing both to small and great. Ah, witnessing i continue i continue why because he was helped by god and you know paul wrote more books in the new testament than his peers paul preached the gospel in more places compared with his peers why by reason of divine help now i pray from now your life will not know other movement than forward by reason of help from above maybe you started something you stopped you started something you stopped you never go until the, the end you have the terror spirit the terror of income the spirit of incompletion 
you need help from above. You need help from, from above. I pray for somebody listening to me. God will send you help and you will never know stagnation again. Your life will move forward. So you cannot move forward in life if God does not help you. If you don't have help from God. Somebody, I look at you. I see you are just there like under a tree. You are very hopeless, helpless. You are there. I pray God to meet you where you are and send the help you need. Number three, divine help lifts burden and make life easy. Divine help helps to lift the burden of life and makes life easy. When you look at Adam, the Bible says, God say about Adam, I will make him and help meet for him. Genesis 2.18 and you know that Adam was called. Adam had a calling from God. Adam was called to be fruitful. Adam was called to fill the earth. Adam was called to have dominion over the creatures of God. But Adam was not happy. Adam was surrounded with chimpanzee, with antelopes with cucumbers, snakes, elephants, all those animals. He was in a very big garden. I mean, apparently life was nice, but because he needed help, he was not happy. No wonder when he saw Eve, he said, that is the one I was looking for. And God says, as you have read in Genesis 2, 18, it is not good. And I want you to know, it is not good for you to be helpless. Somebody listening to me, you are helpless in life. You have nobody to help you. You are just there. You, sometimes you can even lack 1,000 or, or, or maybe 100 bomb. Nobody come to help you. My God says, it is not good. You will never lack help again in your life. Number four. Divine help rescues spares from danger and neutralizes the attack of the enemy. Divine help. Revelation 12, 16. The Bible said the art helped the woman and the art opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. <laughs> Revelation 12, 16. You know, those, this woman, the, the dragon sent a demonic flood. Now, any demonic flood sent to you will be swallowed by the earth. And I want to pray for somebody this morning. Whenever the enemy will attack you, the earth will help you. The stars will help you. I will develop it uh, during the week so you will understand that even the, 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 the creatures of God contribute for our help. Number five, divine help turns a nobody to somebody. Divine help turns a nobody to somebody. Divine help turns a nothing to something. In First Chronicles 12, verse 21 to 22, the Bible says they helped David. So there are some people who came to help David. I will develop it also during the week. For they were all mighty men of valor. They were captains in the host. For at that time, day by day, they came to David to help him. They came to David to help him. May God send help us to you. 
The same way, can you just receive that word and say, Lord, in First Chronicles 12, 21 to 22, the Bible said that God was sending helpers. They were coming every day, every day. They were coming. Now, tell me, let me tell you this. I don't lack help in my life. David was called to be king. But how will you become a king if you are not helped? There are things God has called you to become. I know God has called me, Kasuku, for greatness. But you cannot reach, you cannot become who God intended you to become if there is no help from above. May you never lack help again in Jesus' name. Number six, divine help activate timely and groundbreaking accomplishments. In 2 Chronicles 26, verse 15, the Bible talks about that king. The Bible says he made in Jerusalem engines invented by cunning men to be on the towers and upon the bulwarks to shoot arrows and great stones with her. And his name spread far abroad, for he was marvelously helped till he was strong. Second Chronicle 26, 15. I declare over you, you will not only be helped, you will be marvelously helped. This man became famous. His name was spread far abroad by the help of God. By the help of God. The Bible says he became strong. I pray that your business will become strong by the help of God. That ministry will become strong by the help of God. And you should know the word of life will become strong by the help of God, not by the help of man. I want to let you know the word of life will, the fame, the name of the word of life will be spread far abroad by the help of God. You will never lack help again in your life in Jesus' name. Now, what to do? God does not help those who help themselves. That is a lie from, 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 from hell. One, God helps those who are helpless and depend on him for help. Those are the one God helps. God helps those who are helpless and who cannot help themselves. Psalm 116 verse 6. The Bible says the Lord preserved the simple. I was brought low, and he helped me. When you are low, you are qualified for help from above. When you are helpless, that is where now people don't understand. I have hit the wall. I've had it last week to hit the wall. Okay, well, I am helpless. I have nobody to help me. Ah, when you hit the wall, it is then that you are qualified for help from above. Number two, God helps those who cry to him for help. Are you hearing me? God will not help you until you cry to him. Don't assume. Don't assume. Don't assume. I mean, don't assume. Until you cry for help, God will never help you. Are you hearing me? First Chronicles 5.20 The Bible says, listen to me carefully, and they were helped against them for they cried to God in the battle. They were helped because they cried to God. They were helped because they cry to God. If you want God to help you, cry to him. 
Today you will cry to God for help. So that is what we want. Now, 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 listen. Now, the mistake of it, you go, you want to cry to people. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You are even not helping me. I am your brother. I am. <sighs> Second Chronicles chapter 18, verse 31. The Bible says, Je Jehoshaphat cried out, and the Lord helped him. Can you see that? Jehoshaphat cried, and the Lord helped him. So if you want to experience help from above, cry to God. Now, now, go ahead now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and cry to God. Cry to God. Cry to God. God has helped the daughter of Jethro. He can help you as well. If you cry to him, he can send you that helper who will come to fight your battle. He, 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 he did for the daughters of Jethro. He can do also for you. Can you just cry to God and tell God, Lord, I'm crying to you for that situation, oh God, in my house. Help me, oh Lord. For my ministry, I'm crying to you, oh God. Help me. For my health, I'm crying. Cry to God the way Jehoshaphat did. Cry to God the way those people in the Bible, they did. Cry, cry, cry. You have some seconds. Just cry to God. I don't know, maybe you are in your bedroom. Cry to God. Cry to God for the fruit of your womb. Cry to God for your job. Cry to God. You need help. Cry to God. Cry to God. And the Lord will send you help. Thank you very much for attending. May God send you help from above today. As you have cried to him, may you receive help. May you receive help. May God send to you that Moses, the way he sent to the daughters of Jethro, who will give acceleration in your life, who will give motion to your life the way he did for Paul. God send you help. May God send you help. May God send you help. May God send you help. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Thank you. Please don't go. Hilda has some prayer point there, and she will close the map today. See you tomorrow. By the grace of God. Amen. Were you blessed by the message of today? Thank you so much, Dad, for this message. So what are you going through today? You have heard the message. What are you going through today? I want us to go before the Lord and we show God how helpless you are without him. And we cry to God for him to help us today in the name of Jesus Christ. Prayer number one, we are going to pray the same way you helped the daughters of Jethro. We are crying to you today. You help me and grant me speed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us go before the Lord and we pray for us God to grant us speed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord Almighty, we are praying, O oh God Almighty Father, the way, Lord Almighty Father, you will help the daughters of Jethro, O oh God, we are praying, Lord Almighty Father, that your hand, O oh God Almighty, Lord, will help us today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are praying, Lord Almighty Father, today, O oh God, that you may help us, O oh Father, grant us speed in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Grant us, O oh Father, Lord Almighty, speed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go before the Lord again and you pray. The same way you helped David to become who he intended to become, Lord, we are praying that you may help me to become who you have intended me to become in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go before the Lord and you pray. Lord Almighty, we are praying, O oh Father, the same way you helped David to become who you intended to become, O oh Father, we are crying to you, Lord Almighty Father. Help us, O oh Father, to make, O oh God Almighty Father, our lives, O oh Father, as you have intended us to be, O oh God. Help us, O oh Father, Lord Almighty, to reach our destiny, O oh God, to fulfill our purpose here on earth, O oh God. Lord Almighty, help us, O oh Father. We don't want to run a life that is of West. We don't want, Lord Almighty Father, to lead a life that is stagnant, oh God. Help us, oh Father, Lord. The same way, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. The last prayer, we go before the Lord. The same way you use the earth to help this woman, help me against the attacks of the evil one. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Go before the Lord and we pray. Father, we are praying, O oh God, the same way, O oh God, that you use the earth, O oh Father, Lord Almighty, to help other people. We are praying, O oh God Almighty, that you may help us, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help me, O oh God Almighty, Father, against the attacks of the evil one today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Lord Almighty, Father, that the earth, O oh God Almighty, Father, will favor me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have prayed. Amen, 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 amen. Well, I know that you are blessed by the message of today, and I know because it's a Tuesday on fire, tonight again we are on fire on the upper room. Kindly invite someone intend to intend to, to, to attend, and let us kneel before the Lord, and we cry again for help this evening. Be blessed. Let's meet uh, then. Amen. We love you.